prescription sunglasses not trying to be cool hello how are you namaste que paso hola konnichiwa nishweshwa nihawa salam uh, i reached a thousand subscribers and some of those hellos in different languages was from the countries the area that kind of helped me get to the thousand uh, and i appreciate it thank you very much i'm really happy i don't get real happy but i but i am okay to uh, show you how you can do the stuff i'm showing uh, and protect yourself on the streets basically street fighting so get you something like this just for precision a woman can dislocate somebody's knee this is well as a man, you only need like six pounds of pressure. And if you don't push the socket out, you still damage tendons and ligaments. Okay, this is my dummy. I can, you fight like you train. And you want to be, okay, my last video, I think, or my last two videos, I showed angle kick, so side kick, snap kick to the groin, snap kick to the groin. And this is why you should get a, a dummy, okay? But it's real fast. The street fight that I'm showing, I'm only going to show you how to kick to the solar plex. If I street fight somebody, defending myself, I don't kick higher than the solar plex. They, people say you shouldn't kick in a street fight. High kicks, yeah, you could if you're a really good kicker. So you can fight. But you have to be a really good kicker because if you linger, that person catch your foot and toss you in the concrete. And unless you know how to fall, it's gonna be it might be over. What I was saying is I showed the snap kick, front and back, angle kick, front and back, kick, front and back. Yeah. What I want to do is I want to show a kick that. It's a roundhouse. I show the side kick, the snap kick, and the angle kick. Okay. Now, what I want to further explain in the side kick, when the side kick, like the back leg, you want to turn, and this foot, this foot has to turn to get that power. And the more it turns, the better. Okay. Like here. Turn all the way, then kick out. That foot turns all the way. Okay. Yeah, in the street fight, you have to do all that. In the street fight, you just turn your body kind of sort of sideways and turn your foot sideways. It doesn't have to be this pretty. It doesn't have to be that, okay? So if I'm angle kicking somebody, that knee right here, I can also side kick it like this. My foot is turning, but it's not turning like that. It's not doing this. Too much time. This is all you need right there. Okay, so you got your angle kick, snap kick, side kick here, and this foot gives it more power. You don't have to turn this foot at all if you're going to side kick somebody and they're coming fast. Just turn your body and turn your foot like that. Here. Okay. It's not pretty, but it's effective. So, as long as you 
turn that foot here, you can come down on the knee. Okay? And now you're this close. Eye strike. But you hit somebody's knee like that, whether dislocate or not, they're gonna still have a response. If I kick somebody's knee like this, you're gonna have a response like, oh. If I dislocate it, if you dislocate somebody's knee, you'll know because otherwise, this whole leg will just drop. It's a nasty sight. I was known for dislocating your knee. Now, I know that sounds like it's dirty fighting, but you're talking about overseas kumite back in those old days, and I would strike eyes, uh, strike the eyes, uh, throat, ear strikes, and solar plex, growing area. Uh, people hit to the growing, to hit the balls, excuse me, that offend somebody, but your main goal is the pelvic, pelvic bone. Doesn't take much to fracture. Um, maybe, I know it takes six pounds of pressure, well, fast pressure to dislodge the knee or strain of the lig ligaments or tendons. I think it takes eight pounds of pressure. I think this is a stronger bone because it's not a socket, but I think eight pounds of pressure striking here. And, and that means just a really hard strike or a really hard kick here. You can fracture somebody's pelvis and then they have to walk like this. I mean, you can't take a full step of, on a fight. So if you want to end the fight fast, you fracture somebody's pelvic area. That's helpful, but people can still fight if you hit them here, okay? If you hit, hit to the balls or the, the growing, they can still fight. If you crack somebody's or crack somebody's pelvic bone, it's not much they can do except ask you to take them to the hospital. But I want to emphasize that you don't have to throw a sidekick like this, okay? Or you don't have to throw a sidekick from this position. You can just take the front leg up, back leg, and just turn side. Instead of the angle kick, instead of angle kicking, just turn sideways. Same thing. Come right down on the knee. Okay? And it's going to cause a reaction. But you want to practice doing two or three moves to make it muscle memory. Because So you want to practice, and I'm going to show that down the road. After I kick the knee, I'm doing some other stuff too. I'm doing at least three different things learned because when you train like that, in a real fight, you can do three different things. Unless I crack the knee and they just go all the way down, I still want to do something. Stomp the head, something. Kick the balls, stomp the ankle, stomp the knee. Whether you, if somebody wants to attack you on the street, that means they want to hurt you. Just because you hurt them doesn't mean you got to stop. I mean, you can think like that, but a real street fighter, he's gonna cause some damage. If somebody came at me, I cracked their knee and they went down. If I saw the ankle standing there, I would come down on the ankle. If I saw the knee on the on the concrete, I would stomp the knee. If I saw their legs open and their groin area exposed, I would kick back. That's just me because I train that way. We got our kicks, angle kick, Side kick, front snap kick. Um, what I want to show now is the roundhouse. Okay, the roundhouse from here, defensive stance. And you have to figure out where your defensive stance is. So this is basically my defensive stance. You have to figure out your own defensive stance. And I never stay still. I'm always moving that close to somebody because they may break my knee, okay? So, but I'm always moving. A pretty roundhouse, the same way with a side kick with the back leg. You turn, and that foot turns all the way. The foot turns. Okay. That's kind of like your typical pretty roundhouse. Come in here, leg up. Foot's going to turn. Is coming up when this knee gets pointed at the person my foot is going to flip okay. 
okay? But this foot turns with power. Like the sidekick turns. But if I'm wearing shoes, if I'm wearing shoes, my toe is gonna go right to the pelvic area. Not the balls, the groin area, but to the pelvic. I'm trying to hit the pelvic with my shoe. And that's why I say don't practice with a real person right now. Get a dummy, it's even better for you. So here, right here. So back leg from a defensive stance, and I'm not turning it all the way around, it takes too much time. I'm only going here. And when you do this, with this, this turns mechanics out, okay? More power. Right here. Right leg. Front leg. Same thing, but you have to be closer. Pick it up. Not a snap kick, but roundhouse. Right here. Don't be scared to wait till your balance comes, okay? If you want to get get a chair and kick like this as a beginner, back leg, angle kick, front leg, angle kick. And I'm going like this and leaving it out so you can see how it's supposed to go. Normally, you, you put it back. instant. My move is knee, knee, instant. 